And most of the time, we sat in this part of the set, so the legs were in full view. And I started getting mail. This is now seven years ago when I started doing the show. And uh, then they decided we were going to get more newsy. So that meant less living room, more desk. So we sat behind this, at first, wooden desk. People started saying, we can't see your legs. Then it became a plexiglass desk, but we continued moving in, you know, from the living room set into the new set, so all of a sudden we're always behind that, and people started sending a lot of mail. People yeah. Magazine got the story idea, and they heard about it, they thought it was great, they called my manager, and he said, if they're that important, you're getting that much mail, I'm going to insure them. So they're insured for what? A million apiece. Now, what has to happen to collect? I mean, something all, I mean, we hope you never do collect, but it would have to be something tragic, I suppose. For you. It really would, and I don't want to talk about no, it. No, no, no. But I say... I, mean, I get very depressed thinking so about that. So it's like a publicity gimmick. Well, basically, yeah, yes. Okay. But at least I wasn't responsible. He told me after he took out the policy. But, I don't know, excuse me. Oh, oh my I manager, see, I, see, I didn't I do it. Can no. anyone get any? I mean, like, I'm a talk show host. Could I get my tongue insured, for example? Can I just... Let's see. No way. Not even Lloyd's huh? would do that. Well, thank you. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. Well, enough, enough of that. And, I, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, but they're in good shape, and that's the main thing. So, speaking of good shape, he said everything's a segue here tonight. Uh, this, uh, the shape up tape. Uh, this is out yet? Uh, well, Pat, what happened? The reason I have, I have actually had several offers to do a tape, and it was when Avon finally contacted me last summer and said we want to do something. It was, it was to a great extent because people are aware of my interest in physical fitness and because of the legs. And uh, so they said, let's do a, an exercise videotape. And I said, okay, let's do it. It's coming out in two weeks. Wait, is this through aerobic Avon stuff? Representatives. Is this it aerobic is. stuff? Low or? impact aerobics, yeah. a 45 minute routine. And it really runs the gamut. And we start out with a nice stretch, nice warm up. And then we do uh, four, four or five minute aerobic would segments. Would you like to see Mary exercising? Maybe we will have a little. Why don't we, uh, well. can, we, can we have a look at this? We'll, we'll, t we'll take a look at a little hunk okay. of the tape and... Now, what are you wearing in the... Well, well I guess we'll... Oh, there you go. Oh, lovely. Now... Pretty grueling so far. Uh, I'm exhausted at this part. Uh -huh. What exactly does this... <laughs> now, wait a minute. For you? Pat, what you got to understand is if, you know, if the legs are $2 million worth, there's a reason. This is one of the... This is the $2 million exercise oh, right there. This is like... I like, dare you to try it. This is like a no-impact workout here. Right? No, no, no. Really? That works... The, it what? works the Moving calf. Your foot? Tapping your foot? Do you want to try it with me? Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to see Pat Stajak try this? Now. What's terribly important is to have a little tapping music. Tom, could we do this? Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Now you think it's so simple. Whoa. No, 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 simple like this. And one, two, three, four. One foot at a time. This. One, two, to the side now, gentlemen. Back to the Boy, I'm beat. Yeah. What? Oh. Out to the side. How much is this tape cost, Mary? And back in straight forward. Now the other foot. Oh, this is tricky now. One, two, three, four. You know what it is? It's the music. Todd, can we get it a little hotter? No. I mean, we're getting exercise, but let's get with it. Woo! Now. Now, you do more than that on this tape, don't We you? do a lot more than that, and it's all as much fun. Boy, I had to sit down. I'm just beat. Uh, <laughs> we'll be back with more with Mary Hart in a moment. Whew. Can I have some water, please? Coming out later, Steve Landisberg, Amy Grant, Evil and Robbie Knievel, or it's Evil and Evil 2, <laughs> Robbie Knievel. I can't keep it straight. Uh, Steve Tomac, rodeo clown slash politician. And what a show. And we'll dunk a landlord. And Mary Hart's here. Dunk a landlord? Sure. Oh, okay. When you have 90 minutes, you got to fill it up. Yeah, you, know, well, you, do, you, do you can do more toe taps. No, no, I'm, please, please, I need a couple of weeks off. Admit that. it. Ed, what did you say during commercial I, break? I have to admit, you can actually, I hate to admit it, yes, but you could actually feel a little, little strain on the old... Don't say way. I could feel it. You could feel it. Well, I could right? feel it. a little bit? You couldn't because what? You're in such magnificent shape? No, I was in high heels. And I'm a wreck? No, no, no. I'm in high heels. It makes a difference. Oh, okay. Thank See. you. So I'm, I should do them in heels is what you're talking no, about. No, you shouldn't do them in heels. You feel them more well, then flat. You, oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, what's this circus thing? You're, you're doing something on ABC. You say... <laughs> 
<laughs> See, he's laughing because it's on another no, network. No, 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 I'm not laughing. It just, uh, it's like called Circuses of it's the Universe. It's Circuses called? of the World. Of the World. Yes. And what do you do? We may include Mars and change the title. But... No. So you sit there and you say, like, here's an elephant in India. And then they show that. Uh-huh. But see, contrary to what you might think, all circuses around the world are not alike. No? They each have different acts that are highlighted. Each country has a different specialty. Right. And, for example, last week, we uh, went to Osaka, Japan, and showed their, the great... It's actually called the Great White Tiger Circus. This week, we do the Big Apple Circus out of New York City, but we feature the Nanjing acrobats from China. Oh. And uh, what's interesting about it... Now, I have, I have a love. I have since I was a kid. Yeah, you do those Circus, the circus of the Stars things. Yeah, I've done you? three of those. What, I, yeah, do you do dangerous things in those? Well, I did the High Wire Act the first year. Yeah. Now, really, and if you had fallen, would you have, would you have collected on those legs? or, or You know what? Or you were, you were suspended by something? I was not suspended. No. We had a net, but I worked for three and a half months, six days a week, two hours a day on that act. There's no trick to it. I mean, you literally just have to put in the pain and the agony and fall hundreds, and ti hundreds of times. Before the insurance policy, though, and that's the unfortunate thing, I felt I was on crutches for 10 days during the rehearsal period. Before the policy? Yeah. Darn it all. I mean, uh, what else? You, so you high, you high wired. What else did you do? Together? I did an acrobatic roller skating routine. Mm -hmm. Two guys just like you on roller skates. No, not Little just platform. like us. No, no, no. <laughs> These were guys who could stand up on roller skates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. I would have been dead. Um, anyway, it was a little platform about eight feet in diameter. We, I went round and round. At one point, they grabbed me by each ankle. I had to do the splits on their shoulders, and it really hurt. Mm. That's right. That was not no, like, fun. And, and what was the third uh, the exhibition third, of your circus talent? That, that was a very simple illusion that I did with Harvey Corman, where my head did a 360 and my body got all mangled and twisted up. Oh, you're the one who made Harvey disappear. <laughs> I knew. So, it's, oh, it's a joke, Harvey. Uh, now, uh, so the, the circus show, that, but you introduce clips. You don't go to the circus. You don't Some travel to Some circuses I will be going to. Unfortunately, we got, a, you know, a quick order on the show, on the series, and I had, didn't have time to go travel. You know what it, it takes. I mean, if you, if you go off to Japan or you go off to China or you go off to France, it takes several days. And, of course, my Entertainment Tonight schedule takes precedence because that's the number one priority. Now, do you consider yourself... Uh, you do you do entertainment stories, uh -huh. hence the name Entertainment Tonight. Do you do um, do you consider yourself a journalist, an entertainment reporter, a, a, a an actress, or what? What if, if what do you put on your 1040, other than circus performer? <laughs> well, that comes first. I guess I've always seen myself as being a um, a broadcaster slash performer because in every phase of my career I have performed, I, whether it's been musical comedy, theater at night, uh, you know those kinds of things in the Midwest where I started or doing Circus of the Stars, or doing my act in Las Vegas and Atlantic City like I did last year. Yeah. It really is a combination of things, Pat. So what did you do in that act? Did you sing and dance and sing all that stuff? Yeah, was it yeah, fun? I did an occasional toe tap. Did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. just didn't have a video cassette to do push. Do women ever, do you ever get criticized in, in your mail from women who say, uh, you know, all this talk about your legs and, and that, you're, that you're pushing back the cause? I mean, you know, that kind, of, that kind of mail. Do you know, I haven't. I continually get asked, both from men and women reporters, about um, how I feel about it if I take offense to it. And um, I guess I consider myself certainly a, a liberated, very typical 80s woman in that I am not driven by my career, but I'm ambitious and I love my work. At the same time, this is an aesthetic business. I mean, we all like to watch television and we like to watch people on television. And whether it's looking at somebody's legs or it's, you know, insuring the tongue or whatever it's going to be, you know, uh, there are certain reasons we watch. And, and to me, it doesn't matter. I don't find it offensive because I think bottom line is that people like to watch personalities they're attracted to. Hmm. They may focus on the legs a little bit. Yeah. But you know what's interesting, and I've never made this admission on the show, but I have no idea what you just said. I just, for some reason, I, I, I didn't quite, I didn't follow. It was my fault. It was not yours. It was perfect. But, but I, I don't know. Call me. Uh, did you understand what I said out there? <laughs> See, they did. They got it. It's me, Mary. Dan? I'll you're, explain it to him later. Man. Yeah, you were, okay. you were fine, trust me. Uh, was listen, it the ring? <laughs> <laughs> the glare was killing me. Uh, continued success with E.T. It's, it's going great over there. And, and with the circus thing and the videotape, anything else you got? Is that it? That's, well, if I can just toot our horn, you know, eight years of entertainment tonight, and we just had a picnic today celebrating, celebrating our highest wow. ratings month ever. So eight years so. of big success, and Paramount throws you a picnic. We what? had barbecued chicken. Boy, they're great, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Uh, say hi to everybody over there. Nice seeing you, Mary. Mary Hart, everybody. Thank you.